Hey guys, quick shout out before we begin at the request of the people making these videos. You know, Fim Flam Philosophy, Greg, and everyone else over at Dawn Somewhere. They are hosting an inaugural premiere first annual Dawn Somewhere Brawlhalla tournament. What is Brawlhalla? Well, Google tells me it's an online free-to-play 2D platform fighting game. It looks pretty fun, and it's free, so nothing to lose there. They are hosting this tournament on Saturday, June 4th. And that is 2016 for you future people. Anyway, if you want to join, send them an email at games at dawnsomewhere.com. There will be fun and companionship and some sort of prizes. And if you just want to watch, it will be streamed on their channel. Once again, the time is Saturday, June 4th. The place is the internet. I have just successfully dated this video. Let's begin. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and this time I have a reaction to Mentally Advanced, Negative 10, and Negative 11. It has been a while since I've watched one of these, so I went back and skimmed a little bit. The series has really shown some astounding improvement since Episode 0. And when we left off in Episode Negative 9, we had just wrapped up Winter, and Thrackerzod, you know, Rarity's sister, Thrackerzod, noticed a distortion in the time-space continuum. It seems the series has gone through a canonical reset, and none of the ponies really notice, though they have experienced deja vu. Not sure if they're taking that anywhere, but it is interesting. And we'll see as we head into negative 10, Call of the Cutie, so our CMC are gonna get together, you know, Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, and Thrackerzod, classic CMC. And we will follow through with episode negative 11, which will parody Fallweather Friends, so we'll get some AJ and Rainbow Dash action. No time like the present, let's jump in. Alright, negative 10. Parody. Hi, Apple Bloom. After what? After today's lesson, I couldn't help but notice your blank fly. Is that yeah, Diamond the Tiara? Yeah, was this, Diamond Tiara. Yep, this okay. She has the tendency to lose herself in personal anecdotes. And... She got halfway into the story Silver about spoon. how she learned she lived assessing the worth of a child's intelligence through arbitrary percentile systems, and after that, <laughs> to Today we learned... What happened to your eyeballs? ...have no value to society because the Is mark your... on your butt dictates your future <laughs> It's your job. cutie mark, Diamond Tiara. Learned, Diamond Tiara. It but is. Apple Bloom didn't learn, so that means you have an advantage. <laughs> well, actually, I did that is wonderful. Knowledge. Anyway, it ain't true and that Diamond you Tiara. have to society. Mark Butless works on the farm cart and stuff around Mark and we Butless. Save, saves us a heap of trouble. He did I hear that right? Manure. And he's ugly. And he $666 like trademarked. He honestly and within his means. <laughs> some kind of animal. Oh, we're we're all animals. As as my brother Big Mac and my brother Dugan's really? cutie mark. Granny and AJ get him so beat that some nights all he does is oh, lock no. himself in the barn with his friends and groan and Oh, and oh no. How much you speak up as to how you get respect. Apple Bloom, Apple don't Bloom, open that door. You. You're not supposed to assess what we're saying. Is she the Monopoly man? Advice. Oh, is that what y'all are doing? Heck, y'all could get some lessons. Are y'all <laughs> physical or emotional? <laughs> are we what? I know Maybe abuse. Y'all want to wrestle, or if y'all want to take turns verbally burning eternal shame into one another. Wrestle. Because either way, I've been raised by my siblings in one can. <laughs> old that is true. So if you want to go out, but the two of you so deep <laughs> to the ground that those fossils will have to charge you for real estate. You'll go. Oh over my with God. Found understanding of how foolish and mortal your daddy was <laughs> to send y'all to public school. I'm not enough to understand restraint. The and burns. And I will become death on a cherub's wings unto you. <laughs> every sense of self -worth. Death uh, on a cherub's on wings. Second, are you still friends with Twist? Maybe we'll try bullying her instead. <laughs> her? Nah. She said her favorite member of the back sync Jonas direction was Sweet Hustle. When everybody knows the cutest boy is Banana Pudding. An amalgamation of the last straw right all the boy bands. Oh, everybody knows the boy band hierarchy. It's yeah, of course. Like, tired. Second nature. I'm tired how much people realize that we all know the boy band hierarchy. Oh. <laughs> I don't even really like boy bands, but I know that society expects me to because of oh my, my God. gender and age. Social so commentary. I follow the rules, and Diamond Tiara likes them. I miss I know, that. Right? We all make sacrifices to listen to these boy bands that none of us <laughs> actually enjoy. It is the burden of the preteen girl. That twist has failed. I know that. I, do you want to come to my cute As a preteen girl myself. Hey, yes, I do. Honestly, about that death on Cherub's wing stuff. I was just talking. That's how AJ gives it to the sheep when they get her riled up. She said I'm not supposed to repeat it. <laughs> the sheep. So, so don't tell her I said those things. Especially that part about your butt. 
No, it's cool. <laughs> Daddy says I might need an enforcer someday. See you at the party. <laughs> Apple Bloom. Oh, hello. Allow me to extend introductory greetings. Thracker's odd. Like all ponies, I am unaware that time has been forcibly relocated to obfuscate the terms of a contract. <laughs> uh, what? Right. Yes. As is normal. As wonderful. My poor sense of casuality leaves me apparently baffled. Able to write off my perceptions as deja vu. Yeah. Yes, normal deja yes, vu. You know, right? You're that girl like that's normal pones. And everything. My grades are very average. Perfectly normal. I to this with despair, but do nothing to improve. Like other <laughs> children. <laughs> and my name is Thrakerzod. I love it's the closest utterance to that which can be heard in the tune of a tin flute, where what? only dreams reside. Swindell All right. Well, is my given name. <laughs> do not go by that name except around my parents <laughs> or when visiting relatives. All these subtle head tilts. So, nice now nuances. We are on the childish basis that we have made verbal contact with one another. <laughs> like to note concern. Yeah. Your previous discussion about cutie marks. Schoolyard Please politics. Don't punish that I use the f word. That kind of thing always <laughs> turns into a double punishment. First oh. thing makes it so I can't sit down for a week. Ouch. And in detention, they tell me to sit for a week. I've heard words which oh, no. my skin to burn from the very bones of mortals. All right. But like a normal pony, I am shocked and appalled at the f bomb. Can you tell them to me? I intended to be, but I am otherwise unaffected. Very interested in hearing. I was referring to the concern of not having cutie marks. Oh yeah. You see, I too lack a cutie mark. Blankless flank. It occurs to me now. Wait. We are two of three who stand out in this regard. What I said was huh. completely incorrect when you there. Put it that way, it do sound like a fall. I mean, bullies will pick on you for anything, but as a random gal with That's no true. history of trouble. Y'all do get me worried. They'll pick on you for your... On top your of that, it occurs to me now that Twist has your cutie Dead mark parents. Now I sure don't want to be less successful than Twist. Yeah, screw Twist. As a group, we shall blend in and no longer be awkward. All right. I propose we approach Scootaloo and assimilate her to our purpose. Or at least or be awkward together. To the farm and we could get a cutie mark. I vote hey, for assimilation. Baby. I see you did something nice with oh, your hair. The right? respectable yeah, establishment. Uh, same thing I do Massager. 34 and bits. It looks good every day. Ooh. Really? I Should we, uh, have an apple cutie mark. address that? Good cutie mark. No. Hey, Scootaloo, you want to join our All right. group? All right. Baby. You know I do. Anytime, <laughs> anywhere, Scootaloo is at your beck and call. Uh, cool. Personal cool. space. So, Scoots. Now we got a group based on not having cutie marks. What do we call ourselves? Yeah. Blank Bottom Girls. Cutie Mark Crusaders. <laughs> Tango Trio. Cramming for Cutie Marks. Cutie Mark Crusaders. <laughs> cutie Mark, cutie Mark Crusaders. Acquisition yeah, Program. Against? Your mom. <laughs> My mom is dead. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. The pain. All right. Okay, so. Oh yeah, the long credits. All right, I guess we're gonna jump. All right. Whoa. Any minute now. Oh, never Just mind. Stay focused on this thing, and it's gonna come to us. Apple Blue, <laughs> I appreciate what you are trying to do, but I do not think it will work. <laughs> Additionally, I do not want a cutie mark in apples. Oh come oh, on. Oh, they went Apple to the farm. Cutie. All right. My sister got good at kicking trees because of hers, and by extension, yeah. she's good at kicking everything. Let's just <laughs> unite with Scootaloo. Tons of butt. Know. I don't think she has parents, and she doesn't grow Aww. up on like a traditional family unit like I do. So. Are you implying hey. you conveniently began existing earlier today after your conversation with Diamond Tiara? <laughs> it is preposterous. <laughs> All normal ponies have parents. I just don't see how Scootaloo is gonna help us get our cutie Apple marks. Apple Bloom doesn't. Is this really about cutie marks? Because I thought it was about avoiding the feeling that you were a social outcast. Yeah. Good point. Awkward social situation. A lot of insight. All right, we'll go for numbers. From Thracker's my odd. Mom is dead. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right. Ouch. The pain. Let's jump to episode negative eleven. All right. Yep. Fall weather friends. Right. When they're not <laughs> flying through my windows, seems like you can't hardly get more than ten feet out. <laughs> I see the broken I'm window up there. I throw, but I can't see what I'm doing, and depth perception is hard. I'm not yeah, it's sure very hard. This game. It's pretty tough to line up your throws while the stick is straight down your blind spot. It's a good Still, point. Though, keep trying lighter instead of harder. The farm's not making enough money to pay for these damages. Yeah, and, and try straight. Cool the way we hang out and play games and everything. 
Everybody yeah. always tells me to go back to work. Or Hanging stay out. in the morning, but you're always Having fun. Like that. Sure. Well, <laughs> I know y'all, and you're a bit of a sore loser. I figure I'm the really? only one who knows how to have a bit of fun and how to back off enough so you don't lose your temper. I'm shocked. What? No, uh you don't let me win. I kick your butt as fair as a square. Oh, is that <laughs> See, I knew it. Our matches They're are very as fair. even as a rhombus. I put as much Wait. time into losing as I do into keeping pace with you before the big finale. Don't you bring triangles into this. <laughs> and the rhombus is still in equal shape. <laughs> no, it ain't. It's crooked. Wait. No, wait. <laughs> that ain't the point. The point oh, is no. that you don't handle a lot Geometry. of Geometry. And that's the only reason that I'm the only one who plays games with y'all, Dash. No, Aww. it's not true. Even when I lose, I still look good doing it. Grace <laughs> is part of the score sometimes, and I usually make yeah. a average on that. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I got a game for you. Hold on. Like a go. normal pony. Okay, so I just touched your hoof. That's one oh. for me. Bam, now, the go. object of the game is to get me to put out my hoof, and then you touch it before I pull it away. Okay, All right. put out your hoof. No. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? You have to put your hoof out so I can touch it. Well, that ain't in the rules as oh, far no. as I know. I don't have to. I'm just not putting my hoof this out. This is going to so drive her crazy. Point, and I win. No. No, <laughs> you have to put your hoof out. Outsmarted. And, then and, and then one more point. I have to have a chance. By the apple no, farmer. You have to. <laughs> I don't. Your ass has been oh, whooped. Oh, okay. too slow. Then I challenge you to been a whooped, girl. sports exercises, and whoever wins, wins this game. Yeah. I'm a farmer. I have got things to do, girlfriend. About four girlfriend. days fixing right now, and the only reason I take time off for horseshoes is because I need some merriment for my sanity. Oh. You go on adventures all the time. Hard work right? on the farm. And they don't pay Jack Diddley, which is Aww. why I have four dozen things no to fix. No heroes pay. And a dozen things to fix. I told y'all you couldn't handle a loss. Okay, I admit <laughs> you said. Just, just put your huff up for me, please. Sorry, darling. What oh, she didn't even go for that one. The losses won't kill you. I gotta get back to work. Got 99 wins. Hi, Twilight. All uh, right. I came by to ask if you had any books on what to do about touching hooves with apple cake. <laughs> like, so oh, no. Maybe? Like, a, a guide for Applejack wants me to touch your huff. <laughs> yeah. I've got books like that. I don't read them. Oh, I've so written I several myself. Intro. Earlier today, Applejack touched me, and now I gotta learn how to do it back. So oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't, um... Classic. don't come to the library to check out books. You're Misinterpretation. All Am I supposed to help <laughs> you, or...? Just give me the beginner's guide to touching with Applejack, and then we'll go from there, okay? <laughs> okay. Thanks for not flying through my ceiling today. It's a 600-page manual. Sam Hill. Oh, <laughs> yeah, good lord! You just fantastic. My house. I bought you that. It's yours. Yeah. Okay, let's touch hoods. Don't y'all have a lot of preparing to Next do step for the is of the leaves? Not bring really. in a jukebox. Oh, run. And I'm always ready to run. It ain't just running. It's a magical ceremony where we make the leaves fall out of the trees because we run by them. Yeah. I don't know how it works, but it, it's a ceremony. <laughs> you can't just treat it like it's an everyday thing. Yeah, like what okay. to wrap up? I cannot focus on two things. Touch my hoof. Dash, we gotta run today. <laughs> you lost the hoof thing. But I bought you flowers. They're yellow because we're friends. What about the now, so that means that we're the ready chocolates? To the part where we touch hooves. The Sam Hill you on about? What is this Sam Hill? Just touch my <laughs> hoof, okay? The rest of the chapters, it just keeps going. No. I what hate reading. Hoof? You lost. It's time to let go. Deal with what it. Let it you go. Oh, you got a secret admirer. Oh no. Those. That's my <laughs> I thought two fillies couldn't be secret admirers. Oh, goodness. How'd you do it? You just, like, bump up against oh, the Oh, my God. It, just, <laughs> it ain't like that. Just go to your room. Dash, go home. Fantastic expressions the there. Oh, man. Both of you go to your rooms. Neither of y'all slam your doors either, or I'm taking them off the hinges. <laughs> I will hear it. I take it y'all aren't planning to tire yourself out. Nope. nope. I read a lot of books about running and concluded it's stressful. They say knowledge is power, and concluded. I guess here's proof. Running so, sucks. You've gotten yourself kind of tangled up with Dash. Yeah. And I like the magic. Your morning she is, animation. I she's a hoot to go to bed with in the first place. Loop there. Just wake up. <laughs> I guess love is blind. Actually, that saying gets it wrong. Love is clearly deaf and only has good enough eyesight to make out basic shapes. Whatever y'all heard, <laughs> it is a lie perpetrated by my soon-to-be double. That's a that's sister. a good line. I got you. These. Oh, those chocolates. Can we touch hooves now. <sighs> okay. <laughs> One more time. Oh, tied, okay. and now win. You win. Are you happy? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Who says I'm a bad loser? 
Oh, well, that was the end. I like these just anticlimactic endings. Just the commentary on the episodes are the main point here. That was fun. I wonder if there's outtakes at the end here, like that one. Alright. Gonna wait just a few seconds, just to make sure. Alright. When the fandom was first growing, there was a lot of shipping. No way! <laughs> Alright. I think that's the end of the episode. So uh, unless there's something else, I will jump to the outro right about now. Oh, the conflict was AJ's pride versus Dash's insecurity. Good point, good way to put it. And now outro. Jump, go, unless I see something else. But I'm just gonna... Outro! Alright, that was Mentally Advanced, negative 10 and negative 11, and some more solid commentary on the early episodes from Greg, as well as some real nice nuance with the animations now. I expect we'll see some diminishing returns on the improvement to the visuals, now that he has solid models for the character puppets, and he's getting used to the animations, the subtle hoof movements and head tilts. I'm guessing improvements from here will be more subtle. Things like the number of movements each minute, the number of characters on screen, or the detail in the background art. Stuff like that. But as it is right now, that's really solid work. And of course the writing has always been quality. What he does with these episodes is really fun, taking their morals or their focuses and spinning them on their heads by either applying logic or applying the characteristics of his portrayal of these characters. In terms of continuity, it seems Thrakerzad is happy just sitting on the sidelines, like the normal pony she is. The depictions of Silverspoon and Diamond Tiara were... remarkable, in a word. He got in some good commentary revolving around the childhood and how society helps shape them in a homogenous fashion by applying the same set of expectations. And then he had a lot of fun with Rainbow Dash's insecurity. Fortunately, a disaster was averted before she threw a temper tantrum. I had fun, and I look forward to seeing what he does next. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, remember, don't be a sore loser.